Hello everybody, and welcome to Terraria. My name is Lord Dio Eleclair, and today I am going to be revisiting the Tinkerer's Workshop and the Goblin Tinkerer. I realized my last video for this didn't have sound. I didn't have a mic, so I should redo it. Now we're going to start with this guy. A little, little short guy over here, Goblin Tinkerer. Ah, uh, let's see. He's part of the 1.1 patch, but you don't have to beat the Wall of Flesh, I don't believe, to have him appear. You just have to defeat the Goblin Army, and he will appear, some say, in the dungeon. I found my guy, this guy, uh, in the underground, the first layer. First layer. I guess, uh, I'm not sure. They do recommend you look for all these new... Uh, randomly spawning NPCs in the dungeon because it's full of wide open areas where they need to spawn. So maybe that's why people say he spawns in the dungeon. But we're going to click on him. He has two functions, Reforge, uh, which I'll show you this, Legendary Excalibur. The Legendary is the prefix and you can reforge it by, let's see, let me, let me, can you be reforged? Yes. This can be reforged for 22 gold. Tiny little hammer here. Click it. And it's now ruthless. 17% damage increase and negative 10% knockback. I shouldn't click this again, but I'm going to. Alright, zealous critical strike. So yeah, that's what it does. There's a whole bunch. There's tables around the internet you just have to search for that it's a little complicated so i can't explain it all right where are you the shop what does he have to purchase he has rocket boots ruler tinkerer's workshop grappling hook tool belt and the spiky ball now this used to be dropped by the golem army it costs five gold for some of us that seems a reasonable price for others we would be willing a couple months ago to pay like a platinum for that because that was a really difficult drop. But now they've made it easy to get. It's kind of silly. We got a ruler. Creates a grid on the screen. I'll buy that to show you. Tinkerer's Workshop. I'm not going to buy that because I have one all the way over here already. Grappling hook. Basically so you can get, well, the grappling hook a little easier, I guess. You don't have to hunt piranhas. Not that that was too difficult. And the tool belt. Increases block placement range. And these little spiky balls, which are weird. I'm not going to cover those. Alright, real quick. Downstairs we go. I'm going to show you the stuff I just bought. Alright, well this is what... You have to uh, put these in your accessories, by the way. Holy crap. That's what the ruler does. And as you can see, it's... Block, 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 like so. And let's see, your six blocks is about how high I can stack it without jumping. And let's see with this tool belt. I've actually never tried this. Now I can stack seven. Wow, that's incredibly not as awesome as I was hoping. Okay, well that's that. We're going to head back inside real quick. Oh wait, there's this giant block wall in my freaking way. I completely forgot about that. I'm like, why am I not moving forward? Oh, I just built this. Oh dear. Open. Alright. Up here, this is the Tinkerer's Workshop. Place it just like everything else. And, let's see. This is basically something to make accessories with. And essentially what it does is it takes two accessories and combines them and gives you the benefits of, well, both of them. And three in some cases. All right, let's start. You can also make, let's just start with this, a boulder, six uh, stone blocks. This is for the traps and everything. I'm not even going to bother with that. Let's start here. The GPS. You need a golden watch, 
a craftable item, a depth meter, another craftable item that shows depth, shows time, and a compass uh, shows horizontal position. And compass is dropped by the mimic, which you do have to beat the wall of flesh to get that enemy to spawn. So for this one, you do need to beat uh, the wall of flesh, but GPS really doesn't do too too much. Put that there. Alright, diving gear. This is pretty cool. Grants ability to swim. Great Lake sends underwater breathing. Breathing, as you can see, grants ability to swim. Underwater breathing. Boom. It doesn't give me the two defense, so the helmet. That's kind of a shame. Sitting horseshoe. Guess what this does? Negates fall damage and grants immunity to fire blocks. Amazing how that works. Cobalt shield. And the obsidian skull. This is really cool because I always have the cobalt shield. I wouldn't imagine why you wouldn't. And it just kind of throws in this immunity to fire blocks for free 99. Cloud in the bottle. This is, oh wait, hold on. Cloud in the balloon. Ooh, cloud in the bottle. Shiny red balloon. Double jump and increase jump height. And that's really cool because. This is, like I said, two for one. If you look at this, Hermes boots, rocket boots, allows flight, where it runs super fast. Right here you have four. Four movement abilities for the space of two accessories. This would normally take four slots and you would have one left. All this stuff is like that. It's pretty cool. And then the mana flower. This is awesome if you're a mana user. It reduced mana damage, that's awesome. Whatever. Automatically uses mana potions when needed. So you don't have to click that stupid button. It just automatically does it for you. What are these? How are these in here? Get out of here. Alright, I guess I'll go show off what I can. Oh yeah, and this mana flower, or this, yeah, this mana flower needs uh, <clears throat> nature's gift and a mana potion to make. And as you can see, I'm already wearing cl uh, Cloud and Balloon Spectre Boots. So one, two, three. There you go. See that works. Uh, I guess I'll run a little bit. There's a speed run right there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not going to go find a place to get damaged to show you this works. Just trust me, that works. Uh, let's see. GPS. This is what the GPS does. Position. Feet to the east of the center of the map. Depth. And the time. I guess if you really want to use it, you can. I don't know. Don't look at me. Uh, water's too far away. But, uh, this is kind of fun. Let's see. Do, do, do. Mana flower. I'll show you this because this is cool. Oh my gosh. And boom, refill. When you see people doing all these crazy beat all the hard mode bosses, blah, 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 whatever, they use that crystal storm in combination with this mana flower because it's just one less thing you have to do. Um, that's basically, I hear someone splashing. Is there water near here? I don't think there is. No, there's this little puddle. Oh well. Just take my word for it. It works. Well guys, um, that's really all I have. Once again, this is a pretty cool Tinkerer's Workshop. It's pretty cool. It saves you space in both your accessories and your inventory. So be more easily prepared for any situation that may occur. Like uh, happening across a random meteorite. You don't have to go, oh, I don't have my obsidian skull with me. Well, it's okay because you got this obsidian shield. Haha. -ha. And uh well that's that. Uh my name is Lord Dio Eleclair. And yeah, that's basically it. I'll try to do some some hard mode bosses. Um I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be like everyone else and do them with all the cool armor and everything. I'm trying to beat them the way everyone has to beat them. At first which can be a little difficult. 
if you look at a lot of videos, there's like four, five people taking these things out, and it takes them like 20 minutes. But I, I think I'll be able to do the destroyer. And uh, that should be whenever I get around to it. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. This is Lord Dio Leclerc, and have fun with whatever game you are currently playing. Hopefully it's Terraria. Hopefully.